What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling phenomenal today. <laughs> so for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and shares. Your support really is just incredible, Cancer. You know, cause just especially because it's your birthday season, and it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. My Behire Self has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. It is a little, little sidebar here. I'm just doing just birthday shout outs all over the place. This one goes to a full marching band friend. Happy birthday, Nate. And let's get into the readings. <laughs> you like those transitions so you see how much love there is. <laughs> but with this channel, Cancer, this is for those of you who have cancer in your placement. Sun, moon, rising, Saturn, wherever, Cancer. This one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based on our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going void of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me, never force a reading on a situation, and everything will be dope, Cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Crystals. Feeling lovely. Just great energy all around, Cancer. Because one, happy Monday. So look at that. If, if it is your birthday today, look at that. You're, it's happening on, a, on on Moon Day. You know, the, the, um, the moon. Look at that. I'm just speechless about your birthday season, Cancer. The moon rules Monday. So that gives you a little extra boost there, Cancer. And then on top of that, it's a full moon, too. And our, and our opposite sign is weird. <laughs> no, I've been giving Capricorn some flack here recently, Cancer. But with the moon being in Capricorn, let's get to business. This is a this is an interesting placement for the moon because because the moon is in our opposite sign Capricorn. Thank you. The moon is technically in detriment, so the moon gets a little weakened in this energy. And with the moon in Capricorn, this is a very hardworking moon. You know, Capricorn energy is the type that being Saturn ruled. You know, they're all about structure, ambitions, and things. And you know, the moon she's more about the feelings and you know, kind of dealing with. Um, dealing with like emotions and you know the family the roots and stuff like it so it's very you know you got masculine energy feminine energy trying to meld together it gets uh saturn and the moon have a very interesting relationship but this can be one where you do notice that you push your put your emotions kind of on the back burner there cancer and you do it where it is an ambitious you know very patient strategic structure type of energy we do just want to be mindful of that you know like can you know um getting to this place where we might be kind of like stifling feelings and things along those lines. You know, we want to have that balance there, Cancer. But this is something too, if you got a lot of stuff, you got, you know, got a lot on your plate right now, this is a great energy to tap into that, that Capricorn energy, that staying focused, staying, staying, uh, staying disciplined. You know, Capricorn energy is dope for that. And then... We got the full moon, Cancer. And that this is a great energy for celebration, you know, because we've, you know, we've made it to the finish line. You've been getting this thing. We're like halfway through this point. You know, it's feeling, it's feeling good now. You know, this is a great time for, especially with it being in a cap in Capricorn, really celebrating your, your achievements, you know, your accomplishments. And if we're not feeling in this, in the state of celebration, I feel that because it's like the, over here is talking about, you know, celebration or regret. And... I feel like instead of regretting maybe and like how we've invested in a decision, it's like, okay, what do we learn from that? You know, how did, how can we apply this differently? How can we re you know, restructure this thing a little bit and get this energy on track? Because cause even though we get to this place and we find that something's not working, you can always adjust cancer as, as these moon uh, cycles go, um, or these moon phases get on here. This is just, these are just great little markers for you to kind of check in with yourself. But overall, overall cancer, you know, 
be adaptable during these energies, you know, and let this stuff bring in new insights and things. It's very, uh, very great energy with the full moon. And then last couple of things here. These readings that I do, they're not gender specific readings, so apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations. And in case if y'all were curious, the decks that I'm working with, I've included links for them down in the description box below, so definitely check that out if you're interested in cancer. But also down below are some readers that I like watching. You know, really, really great groups. I hope you enjoy them as well, cancer. Go show them some love. So let's go ahead and get into your first card here, cancer. I love it. Then a lot of this card going around here, and I'm with it. You got the fourth card of Libras here, which is a yoga card. That's how we kick off a Monday, Cancer. Nice, relaxed, <laughs> deep meditation. But this is a card of contemplation, deep breath, centered, go within, steady, balanced, relax, take a break, inner child healing, meditate, time alone, balance chakras, reflection, wellness, and rest. You know, Cancer, the energy that kind of pops out here first is the deep breath. And... <clears throat> You know, when we, I was just listening, oddly enough, I was doing some, um, doing some yoga and the person that I watch, uh, she was actually talking about that, you know, just thinking about how many times we breathe throughout the day and how many of those are really kind of conscious cancer, you know, it's like breathing is so, you know, inherent in us that it is really a different kind of experience when you tune in to when you use that breath as an anchor throughout your day to just kind of check in to see where how you're doing you know are we feeling is the body feeling tired you know is it feeling relaxed are we feeling stressed are we feeling and it helps you get get gain a, a better understanding of who you are you know and to find a ways that even when we're in the state let's say if when we're maybe in a real busy kind of energy right now where it may be crank time we can still find some ways to go within in between you know kind of take some breaths and there's power in that and really understanding and really kind of understanding and really tuning into the body on a regular basis you know it's because i feel like it's one thing I feel like it's one thing to, you know, really kind of get the, it's a different experience, Cancer. I feel like, you know, just when, you've, when you're making it a point to just like, while you're doing one thing, you know, focusing on your breath, whether that be doing the dishes or this could be sweeping, I don't know what, you know, vacuuming, Cancer, whatever we're doing, we're just doing some stuff around the house. <laughs> you know, or, or even when we're doing some, um, maybe doing some yoga or working out, just paying attention, just yeah, there's something here, you know, just really about, yeah, paying attention to or finding ways to maybe bring more presence into our lives, being in that present moment. And some other energies that are coming through your Cancer is a relax. And maybe for some of us, you know, because again, with Capricorn energy, where again, it is very much, you know, they're, they're ambitious, goal oriented. They do have a tendency sometimes they can, you know, work themselves to detriment, you know, in, in order to achieve their goals. And I feel like that is making sure that we do find that out that 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 adequate amount of rest as well cancer you know and this isn't medical advice or anything but this could be just making sure that you know let's say if we're working at like a sedentary job just making sure that we're getting up maybe if we can't get up for like maybe to go around for like um maybe walk around our department building for example or anything along those lines maybe even doing just some light stretches you know maybe if we do a lot of typing you know stretching those wrists out wrist is tight sometimes cancer you know just little things like that or maybe we're I don't know, maybe we're taking the time for a, maybe before maybe taking a bath cancer you know or even going out to because even just think it with Libra energy they deal with that like beauty art things along those lines and so maybe we're bringing in so many ways cancer I could talk about this yoga card all day let's get some uh let's get some cards on get some tear and get some more details on this Let's see what we got here. Look at you, Emperor. 
And King of Cups, I'm with it. We're getting balanced. We're getting, I'm with it, Cancer. All right, so you got the, the Emperor, the King of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and then the Nine, the Knight of Wands, and then the Nine of Wands. And Cancer, <clears throat> I feel like for some of you, Again, if we've been feeling in this place of where, especially with us being in our, our birthday season as well, because this is where, where it's a fun time for us, Cancer, it is a very emotional energy for us. And it's where all the signs are feeling it, you know, we're really feeling it, Cancer. And so if we've noticed that maybe we've been kind of maybe stuck in our heads or really been kind of deep in the emotions, because the Four of Cups, this is the moon and, and Cancer. And, you know, I feel like when the moon's at home, you know, she really sometimes can get, uh, she's allowed to feel how she wants to feel. But sometimes that can, you know, when it starts to bleed externally, Cancer, when the conflicts start coming out there and you're, you know, you're, you're up here on this mountain breathing fire and people kind of looking at you like, ooh, pass. <laughs> you know, we, I don't even give it on the same, Cancer. It's just, we, we just want to be mindful of if we've, if we've noticed that maybe we've been maybe out of balance or, and even too, if people have been trying to come to us with help but maybe we've been in this place of again just kind of in this brooding mood maybe something along those lines we just want to take care of the energies in all aspects cancer because the nine of wands can be one of my cards of recovery you know we get to this place of where maybe we're either mentally burned out again maybe we've been working real hard you know things have been kind of crazy or maybe we've just been picking up shifts to just kind of distract ourselves even cancer you know just kind of cranking out but when the body's asking you to rest even the emperor you know, he's got he's got all kinds of works to do. He's looking, he's mapping out the stars here. He's thinking big. But with those big dreams, Cancer, he needs to rest up. You know, find find that place of find that place of calm, you know, find that place of balance so that he can operate at his best, you know. I also feel like for some others. There's something here with with the Four of Cups, because this can be a card of apathy too. It's like, for some, maybe we've not, I feel like perhaps maybe for some of us, we've been, we may have reached this place as of late where we're just not satisfied with maybe where things are at right now. You know, maybe there's maybe there's not that excitement in life. Maybe we've been going around, and maybe that's something too, Cancer. Maybe we're going around looking for dragons, maybe looking for excitement. I'm not sure what this is. You know, it's like, let me get a little bit more of this Knight of Wands, but it feels like, it feels like that we've been maybe searching for, for happiness in, in one place, but, Yes, yeah, like we've been searching for happiness in one place. I'm just looking at this telescope with uh, with the King of Cups here. And maybe there's this energy of that no matter what we try to do with this thing, maybe we can get it far ahead for a little bit, but it always seems to just kind of fizz out at the end here. Okay, so let me get a little bit more on this, uh, on this Knight of Wands, though. Hmm. Let's see what we got here, Cancer. So you got the Knight of Wands. He's clarified by the Sun, the Nine of Swords, and then the Queen of Pentacles here. And, and it feels like Cancer, just with this energy. Yes, yeah, like maybe for some of us, we've been trying to... I'm not sure if we've been trying to create this balance or something, but it's like no matter how we pour into these energies, with the Nine of Swords and the Sun being here, it's just like... It's like we know what, it's like we're trying to find what can, what we can do to, it's like we're trying to find this thing that can get us out of this rut, you know, like we maybe we've been kind of, either kind of stuck in our heads, been thinking about, it seems like it's like getting like a deeper understanding of who you are, Cancer, and how you, because maybe we've been, This is like, you know, going to, it, it reminds me of like we've went to school to maybe become, 
I don't know, maybe like a teacher, but then found out that you have a love for the sea or something along those lines. You go to teach marine biology and then go on a field trip one day and then you find out that you really love the thing and then they have an, oh, I'm not sure, Cancer. Like, it's an interesting kind of example, but there's something here about just like maybe for some asking us and really kind of going within and like, Asking is this thing like really bringing us balance, whatever this energy is, this could be maybe where we're living, where we're working, maybe the relationship that we're in, but it's an energy of if this has been something that's been on your head, I feel like instead of like letting that be a weight that's that's staying on there, it's taking a moment to relax and really kind of be with the thoughts, you know, work out the pros and cons. Why are we feeling this way? You know, what can we do? What, what have we done to change? Is there anything that we can do? very interesting energy here cancer but i do feel like that is going to be something that is going to require some reflection and just like some real kind of some alone time you know kind of i'm not sure cancer is like it almost gives me almost like even for some maybe it's like an ultimatum type of energy here i'm not sure what that is cancer more interesting okay i'm gonna get out of that cancer but Something that resonated with you. Something to, something to think about there. Hmm. All right, Cancer, let's get some challenges. See what's happening when working with this. Oh, stay still, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> let's see what's going on with this. Uh, with some challenges here. See what else we got here. All right, cancer some challenges. So you got the two of cups, the three of pentacles, the seven of cups, and then the page of wands here. And for some of you, cancer, you know, I feel like it's creating different ways for you to relax, you know? I feel like that there's, with the Page of Wands, he's very creative, very inspirational. He gives me very kind of Leo vibes when I think about the, when I think about him. But I feel that this is, for some, it's like, if we haven't, it seems like we've been in this place where maybe we've just been just kind of working for a while, been kind of focusing on the dream, focusing on like, you know, getting towards that emperor status, you know, like for some, it feels like it's like been very career focused. But I feel like the energies are asking us here, you know, how can we create some time to, you know, to just kind of two of cups here and treat yourself, you know? And I feel like there are a lot of options here for you, Cancer, because maybe this is something where we're thinking that, you need to to splurge on this thing to have like you know wine or something on on the beach and with some chairs maybe we think we got to go to a fancy restaurant where cancer you can just go ahead and buy yourself some chairs or take some take some folding chairs you already got with it you know make a little picnic i don't know cancer but this does this energy does kind of feel like that for some it's like maybe finding some some different outlets you know that can can not just bring you joy, but even potentially bring in a little side coin here with the Queen of Pentacles being here. But I also kind of feel like for some others, hmm, let me get a little bit more on this Two of Cups here because there's something, something else in here. Hold on, Cancer. So let's see what else is going on here. So you got the Hierophant. So you got the the Two of Cups is clarified by the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands, and then the Seven of Wands here. And if you, you know, it does seem like for some, for the, the, the theme here seems to be that 
that things have maybe for some have just gotten a little, maybe a little hectic, a little out of control. Maybe we've taken on more on, on, on our plate than we've realized. And it almost feels like how, it just feels like that things are just, it, they, things have been thrown out of whack a little bit. You know, we haven't been in this place of where maybe we can find some calm, find some balance, something along those lines, whether this be, whether we've been like maybe f physically working on some stuff or maybe we, we, we've been in our head or, Whatever this is looking like, Cancer, but, you know, where the Seven of Swords can be, you know, can indicate like um, lying, cheating, deception, things along those lines. This card for me can be a card of like, you know, developing resources as well as different and different like tools, kind of similar with the, the Queen of Pentacles, but... It's like if we've been telling ourselves this one narrative of like, oh, I don't have time for this. There's never enough time in the day for me to do what I want to do and things along those lines. We want to be careful with that cancer because manifestation is in a, in a very potent energy right now. And if we're in this, if we keep telling ourselves that, that there's not enough time, then that's what's going to be. But that's not true, cancer. I feel like it's just like finding out how we can kind of rework these energies here in our favor so that we can... It's almost gives me like so we can like it like we can almost like have our cake and eat it too in a sense here, Cancer. But mm -hmm. yeah, very interesting energy, Cancer. And you know we're getting ready to get to a kind of a, a busier time here too, um, with Mars is getting ready to enter Virgo here. Oh, uh, sometime uh, I want to say next. I want to say on Monday, Cancer. Depend ne next Monday, depending on when you're watching this. The tenth or the it's either the tenth or the eleventh of July, and that's going to be nice energy because that's forming sextiles with our signs. So we may be in a place where there may be some opportunities here for you, Cancer, and then you know things are going to really start picking up. So this could be a time now to just kind of really kind of get some relaxation and some things up. Um, things in order before this energy starts really kind of uh, popping off here, but. Let's get some advice from Saturn. Let's see what's going down here. I think that's gonna be dope, Mars Bean and Virgo. That's a that's a pretty sick placement. Alright, Cancer. Oh, Cancer. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, Cancer. That's what I... I thought there was something up with that. So there may be a little, little relationship stuff in here too, Cancer. Just with the Emperor and the Empress popping up here. But you got the King of Wands, the Three of Cups. My girl, the Empress. Oh, and I think I got the Empress early too. Empress has been cool. She's been floating around a little bit. I like that. And then the Six of Pentacles here, Cancer. And you know, for some... Just because you got the Two of Cups, uh, the Emperor, the Empress, Six of Pentacles here. I feel like for some, it's asking if there's been balance in our relationships. I feel like and if, if, if this is not dealing with a person, then I feel like that relationship with ourselves, Cancer, has our, has our masculine and feminine energies been in balance here? We've been leaning into one side for the other, you know, really kind of getting a real... Under, under like an understanding of who you are you know just real kind of paying attention to that give and take you know making sure that we're there's because there's time for us for taking action and there are time for us to to rest and to and to nurture and to heal but the the thing too it's just like remembering that the roles, how they can look on each on on, on the opposite ends. Because the Empress is very much about her coin. She rules over Taurus and Libra. Taurus is about their stability, their finances. Libra's keeping balance, beauty. And then you think about the Emperor. Sure, he's all about you know getting things done, authoritative, you know, taking action. But he's you know he, this is Aries energy. He's all about passion, you know, doing things that are fun. She, Aries is very youthful energy, you know. And so they're gonna do you know Emperors like to you know likes to go kick it with. with Dog, uh, I was gonna call him Buster. I guess we're calling this dog Buster Cancer. I mean, kicking with Buster, you know, go um, play and fetch and stuff. I don't know what the Emperor does, but he's having fun. And I feel like it's just finding that balance, maybe for some of us, Cancer. This is not a relationship, but I'm also kind of feeling with this.
that there's also just like a need for maybe even just like some of us doing some kind of celebrating, you know, as far as like maybe meeting up with some friends or, you know, just like, you know, I don't even mean like, you know, like a big event cancer, but this could be even just having like a little intimate dinner with some people, you know, maybe just getting out if we haven't seen someone in a while or, you know, maybe this is like a, I don't know, yeah, if this is not like a love thing, maybe it's just like, you know, this could be a best friend, you know, that felt like an emperor or felt like an empress, you know, someone that you had a real close bond with and, I don't know, cancer, but it's a little bit more with the Empress that's popping up here. Let me get a little bit, uh, see what else the Empress got to say. And just thinking with the King of Wands, too. You know, making, oh, hey, and there's King of Pentacles. All right. <laughs> Hubby's here. <laughs> got a lot of energy. Interesting, Cancer. Okay, so the Empress is clarified by the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and then the Four of Wands here. And maybe for some of us, this could be where... Interesting. A lot coming through here, Cancer. More. Let's, let's switch back over here. I'm gonna, this is... Um, because maybe this is for some of you. Maybe we're in this place of where we're, we're maybe might be either uh, planning for a wedding, possibly. Maybe some type of event along those lines. Because, you know, Four of Wands, the Two of Cups. That's, that's kind of neat, Cancer. But it's like the Seven of... So for a small few, I feel like with the Seven of Wands being here, with the considering the King and uh, King and Queen of Pentacles, Emperor Empress is here. Maybe some of us have been wanting to maybe t either take things to a next step or not quite sure what that is, Cancer. Maybe even to start a relationship. Period. But maybe we're either maybe there've been a lot of criticisms about how either this relationship is going or maybe even how the, if we are, you know, planning like a wedding or something along those lines, maybe how the celebration is coming up. Maybe there's been a lot of stress. Oh, it's just like finding, because I just like really, things just started to add up, you know, kind of really quickly there, Cancer. You do got a lot of people here. So this could be something too, Cancer, with all these people, just maybe just being around in general. Maybe just taking some moments and just being by yourself. Maybe we, maybe your calendar's been booked, you know. Oh, it's like a lot, I think it's a lot's about to go down here, Cancer. And I think we do, before your plate gets overstacked here and you get overrun, you know, this is... Yeah, just taking a moment for you, Cancer, and finding... Because that just kind of compounded really quickly. And just like, yeah, let's... I feel like it's not feeling that you have to please everyone. You know, that's something too, Cancer. I feel like that maybe you want to try to do all the things for everybody. And where that's... I get it. But it's it's hard, Cancer. You know, you spread yourself thin and then you start... Once you start pulling away from your energy, sometimes that can get into this kind of heated place of where you're feeling like a little maybe neglected or that, you know, the same energies aren't being matched. And then, you know, then, then, then there's this tension that gets created and it really just comes from a, it's, it's a lot of cancer. I feel like that's um, just, whew, before this energy, uh, yeah, yeah. Before this energy, or if you notice any things that are just kind of getting, becoming a whirlwind cancer, eight of wands, because maybe, because this could be a card of news too, you know, maybe we're hearing, I don't know, Lampers is in, you know, it's one more thing, and then I'm going to get out of this cancer. Maybe for some of us too. Maybe we're because it's the Eight of Wands is a card of news, and you know, Emperor the Empress is uh, quite pregnant here, you know, and Venus being in Leo right now. Leo's um, you know, very creative energy. What's more creative than some children, you know? So you know, very romantic energy. So if we're looking for babies, you know, and I, we could, I, a lot of time. It looks like a good time. Could have a lot of support here, but if we're not thinking about it, let's be mindful. And just with all the people here, let's be mindful. <laughs> but all right, cancer. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave that there. So, but hopefully you hopefully you follow me there, cancer. That did that just kind of took off real kind of quick. Talk talk about a tornado, but you yeah, hopefully you found a little nuggets of wisdom in there. But if anything resonated with you. Give it a thumbs up and share this cancer if you know someone who might be going through a lot or just been needing just a moment to just kind of like zen out. Maybe you're like, hey, you know, we've been kind of doing, you've been doing everybody else's thing. You know, let's let's go to your favorite. Or you heard you like kicking it on the beach and uh, having, drinking wine and watching the, I'm assuming the, the sun's either, I'm, we're assuming the sun is setting, you know. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's assume there's, the sun is setting. Otherwise, they may be, you know, they may both work like overnight shifts, cancer. <laughs> but... 
You know what I'm trying to get at, Cancer. Share this thing. And have all these emperors and empresses, king, queen, and pentacles, subscribe. Hit that bell button to get notified. And I tell all your friends that you meet up here. Hit <laughs> the subscribe and I'll get notified when I have these videos each day. And then I'm on this meditation app. Huh, speaking of a uh, little yoga here, Cancer Meditation. I'm on this meditation app, Insight Timer. And I started a group on there called Zodiacs Raising the Vibration. It's just a group to post like positive affirmations, encouraging messages, things along those lines. Then definitely as the group grows, I, I want to start posting like different healing musics and affirmations, things along those lines. So, you know, maybe do a self-care with the Empress or getting, I don't know, maybe, you know, power manifest in abundance with the King and Queen Pentacles. Wouldn't that be some little joint, uh, little joint uh, meditation? I like that. But uh, definitely check that out, Cancer. And then lastly, while you're also checking out things, Cancer, I got some um, links for some, or some, th the list of some apps that I like using for like astrology and stuff. Check your sun, your moon, your rising. I think come on over to my other channel, Alchemist Gate. I do videos uh, weekly there with different themes. Getting ready to get on um, Leo's monthly videos next week. So that's going to be fun for Celestia News Monthly. And all that housekeeping down in the description box below. But let me get your surprise cards here. <laughs> so I can get you out of here. Speaking of Leo, here's a strength card here. This is the second card I got strength card. Uh, ooh, and actually that combination with Venus and Leo being in here. So, you know, again, that's about relationships. Um, and also about self-confidence, Cancer. But it may be for some of you, just thinking with the strength card. And again, maybe with all these people. This could be a time for us maybe, maybe for some to be alone. You know, if we've been, maybe we've been kind of... Um, and, and you know, Cancer, you're in a safe space, judgment-free zone here. Maybe we've been kind of t uh, playing the field for a little while. Maybe we've been trying to find love. Maybe we may have been distracting ourselves, Cancer. But this does feel like the time to maybe take a break for a little bit, just for some, you know. And, yeah, I'm more so getting like, yeah, like maybe we've been kind of in our Leo energy for a little bit as far as like just kind of putting ourselves out there. Because, I mean, the sun, cause that's something too, Cancer. You got the sun and you got Leo here. You know, that's, uh, you know, Leo's ruler. I feel that it's, you yeah, just kind of be mindful of how that energy is, you know, kind of shining cancer. You know, if we've just been kind of, yeah, again, just spreading ourselves too thin, however that's looking, you know, just um, pay attention to that. You know, you pay attention to the energies, you know, being a water sign, being as uh, receptive to the energies as you are, it's important, cancer. But let's get your, uh, let's get your oracle card here. Interesting. Okay, so you got the 35th card here, the horsetail card, which is the patience card. And this card is ruled by Saturn and by Venus. And this is interesting, Cancer, this patience here. And you know, I feel that it's kind of, it's that, I feel like it's again that energy of slowing down. Because like how often you seen, uh, seen a horse uh, sitting down, Cancer? Not that I, I know they take a, they like to relax from time to time, but I do feel like that maybe for some, this is like kind of forcing ourselves to kind of relax a little bit, you know, really kind of like, you know, really almost in a sense with the Saturn energy, it's not like we're restricting ourselves in it. Like it's more so just sort of like being disciplined at this point, like making you a priority, you know, your self-care, your foundation, you know, your balance and, you know, getting, finding, finding that, that center again, cancer with this card and be patient with yourself. You know, it's not something where it's like, all right, we just get like one good night of sleep and then we're back to grinding again. You know, that's uh, so that still gives you kind of like that work hard, play hard ment uh, mentality. And I feel like that those extremes, you know, it's where I get the mantra. It's just like, I feel like the energies have been trying to get us to this place where we're like working smart and playing smart, you know, like, you know, finding, find, finding that balance in between that cancer, making that flow, look at that, just kind of flow like this river here, cancer. So I like that cancer, something to think about. I'm with that. So you stay safe out there. All these people, <laughs> all these people and, 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 you know, because this could be in there, a number, number of uh, opinions and things. Just find some time for you, Cancer, and really just kind of just be with your energies for a little while here. And raise your vibration through the roof. Yeah, just yeah, some kind of, yeah, doing some self-care and, yeah, just things that feel good, good for you, Cancer. And I will catch you on the next one tomorrow.